Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder Dia. We are back playing Resident Evil Zero. So last time we made it to the front of the train. Turns up that uh, it's going out of control. Wesker's in the game, of course, and obviously wants to destroy the train because this is what he does. And now we got to activate the emergent emergency brakes, which are the most convoluted way of turning off, I mean braking, which instead of just little boop, like normal things would have emergency brakes, yeah. And we got a time limit, so we got to get through this pretty quick. So anyways, let's jump in. Whoop! Alright, so here we are. Uh, oh! Magnetic card. It'd be great. It'd be terrible if I forgot that. Uh, there we go. Grab the ammo. Always grab ammo. There we go. I do know that there's another one down here. Perfect. Alright, how bad could this be, right? I'm just rushing to the end of the train. That's right, the emergency brakes are located at the end of the train. Pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's not good, the deadman's gone. Ah, deadman! There you go. <laughs> I mean, that didn't even really look like Edward, but hey. Whatever. Oh, that's a lot of deadmans. No, thank you. Let's reload real quick. There we go. Out of my way, please. Reload. Me and my little booty shorts. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, here's Edward. Hey, buddy. Yup, he's a zombo too. He's a zomboy. Stop! Don't come any closer. Yeah, seriously, like. Wow, he takes a lot to take down. And he doesn't even drop anything. Like how rude is that? Ah! He's got friends! He's got friends on train like places. <laughs> Alright, through the dining car. Okay, yep. There's a gun I don't use. The freight car. Alright. Okay, cool. Yep, all the way at the back of the train is the emergency brake. Oh, but that's not all. This is only half of it. Alright, so, gotta come over here. There's a head operated brake here. You need a magnetic card to operate it. Oh, why can't you just use the items? There you go. Yeah. You can use the operated brake. Oh, shit. Uh, so that means I have to get it up to 81. Oh, crap. Okay, so what you do... It's actually pretty simple. You do that. Boop! There you go, 81. <laughs> Rebecca, I have engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Yes. You first need to activate that. Now, as him, you now have to, like, activate the other half of the brake. If I can get to it. There you go. But this one... Oh, it's different. Shit. Alright, so we're gonna do, um, some quick math here. So, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30... Uh, 36, 36, uh, 36, uh, 36, uh, 45, uh, 54, 54, uh, 54, uh, 60, 67. There we go, because you can't actually see what number you're putting in. So you just gotta, gotta count it in your head. The good thing I'm kind of okay with math. 
All right, so apparently the brakes are activated. But the train does not seem to be slowing at all. Like, at all. Woo! And everyone's dead. Yeah, that's an everyone's dead moment. Ow. I fell on my keys. You know, for being thrown Rebecca. from a train, Rebecca. he looks completely fine. Oh! Speaking about the other person that looks completely fine. Are you alright? Hey. Managed to stop the train. I don't think yes, that counts. We managed. We have to find a way out. Alrighty. Oh, geez. Uh, switch, 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 switch. Oh, come on. Ah, this is way too many guys. Come on. The least you can do is get out of the way. Now I can't see who's alive. Get out of my... Will you get the fun out of my way? I forgot that I can control him. There you go. What do we got here? Another knife. No thank you. I'm never going to use the knife. Alright. So, what do we got? Uh, okay. Well, oh, alright. That's some, that's some pretty hot fire. Is everyone dead? Just making sure. And there's a bunch of items that I can't pick up anyways. Oh, look, another handgun. Does it have full ammo? I'm, you stay here. That's not the button I want. Come on! Yeah. Nope, gun does not have ammo, which means leave it behind. But, one thing we do want to bring with us is apparently this hookshot. That is one of the tips that I read about the game, is that the hookshot actually is used for multiple things, so bring it closer to where you have it, want it, instead of leaving it in the basement. How is my health, by the way? Ah, they're both fine. Oh. There we go. I mean, they're completely fine for the fact that they just crashed a train. Oh. The sewage water gives off a stench so bad it makes your eyes water. And I'm walking in it. Yep. The that's not the most disgusting thing ever. Danger, authorized personnel only. Alright. There we go. Water seeps through the joints of rusty pipes. Climb up the ladder? Sure, why not? Ding, ding, ding. The Umbrella Research Center? You know, I have to say, this place looks exa almost exactly like the mansion from the first game. Aw, she's still cute. The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Oh, well, at least we got a name. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the man? Albert, that's his name. I'm unfamiliar with him. Attention. Mm -hmm. Albert this Wesker. Is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company <laughs> Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Oh my god, it actually is a guy. Just to say I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. 
Why is he On wearing a dress? Umbrella. I look at that, he's straight up wearing a dress. Oh, beautiful singing voice though. Why is there two monitor rooms? Dr. Marcus? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. Oh? You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look how dark that room is, and Wesker's all like, No, I must wear my shades. All right. A huge portrait of the first director of facility, James Marcus. Yeah, don't uh, don't bother putting your pride all over this place. I mean, it's not like that's, you know. Alright, so now that we're in the main room, now I'm going to drop this uh, hook shot here. That way I don't have to go all the way to the basement to get it. There we go. Leave it exactly where I will remember it. In the middle of the floor. Our house in the middle of the floor. Our house. Alright. And more healing. Oop, more ammo. Yes, please. Another ink ribbon. Sure, why not? I mean, if you have one, you might as well pick them all up. There's a typewriter. Record data. I guess I wouldn't need... I guess I wouldn't need to carry them around if I just placed them near typewriters. Record data. Yeah, sure. I just thought about that. Huh. I've been carrying it around this whole time. Just in case. Rebecca. Three. Hall. Alright. Cool. Nice and slow. Exactly like the... Resident Evil games are. Ooh. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Why couldn't they just have locks like everywhere else? Like, why does it always have to be some weird thing about morality? <laughs> Story of Resident Evil games. Why does it have to be something about morality? Why can't it just be a lock? The rain seems to have let up, but the sky is still covered with dark, ominous clouds. Ooh, spooky. Okay, those doors are locked. This door is not. Where does this door lead you? Spooky door is spooky. Alright. Notice to all staff. The document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agent teams will be held. Both meetings are secretly level are security level five and will be held in the following locations: Floor One West Operations Control Room, Floor Two Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be eight fifteen. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Anything else? Like ammo? I do like ammo. <gasps> Ooh, ammo. Yay! <laughs> and what do we have here? Ah, oh, yes. The crank handle. Gotta have a crank handle. And then, we got a GTFO out of this room. Because it's birds! Birds attack! Luckily, there's nothing else to do with that room, so you don't actually have to fight off the birds. You can just leave. So as I mentioned on my... Where the crap is Billy? Billy, what the crap? Oh, you son of a bitch! Great. Billy's being attacked by a bunch of birds because he's a dipshit. Why didn't you leave when I left? You son of a stupid dog. Fuck. <laughs> what an idiot. You feel better? Okay, he's still fine though. He's fine. Okay, uh. Come on. Roger. There you go. Switch between you two. Dumbass. Next time when I leave a room, 
You leave a room. Where's my map? Okay. Okay. So I only explored a very little bit of the mansion on um, on my last playthrough. Playthrough. Um, so I don't actually know much about this mansion. Oh, regulations for trainees. Training fa facility mission. Our training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leader, global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the, are the basic principles which gov govern all, all Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to yourself and cooperation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. Great. Always got to love having a, you know, like someone telling you that you need obedience. As I stand here before you today. <laughs> oh, what's this? Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. Oh. I was making an Obama joke. Or a reference. It's a reference. <laughs> Obama. Alright. And over here we have more ammo. And another typewriter. Grab this ammo. And that's shotgun shell, so switch to Billy. Grab the shotgun shells. We go. All right. Switch back to Rebecca. All right. Let's just jump into here. From the face. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Yep, just die. I mean, die again, obviously. So is the training facility compromised? Oh yeah, they did say that the research center was compromised. They said that there was a, yeah, a leak. It's locked. The door is em embossed with a fire motif. Of course it is. Hey, at least they went with something different. They went with elements instead of cards, like the spade and hearts and diamonds. That's a usual staple of uh, Resident Evil. Alright. Oh yeah, there's this. You cannot carry this item now. Eh, that's fine. I didn't want to carry it. What the? Oh no, there is a maximum! That's poop! Uh... No, no, I just, I, I just, I just want to go, no. Why can't I organize my inventory? Ugh. Alright. I hear I thought that I could just have unlimited stack. Oh, the mansion map. Boo yeah, mansion map. Oh. Oh. It tells me what items are there. Cool. I had no idea what that thing was for. What about over here? Uh, what do we got? We got a uh, ink ribbon. No, thank you. I already had. But th there is no. Uh, what do you call it here? Books on the shelf are complicated and full of technical jargon. All right. Books contain a wide selection of books. This doesn't seem to be anything of interest. This kind of looks like it moves. Ah, and here's the crank. Uh, which, there's a square shaped hole in the panel. Boop. So we're going to just give this a little boop. There we go. And now we're going to switch over to Billy. Use the lift. Yep. Up you go, girl. Whee! 
Make the man do the work. Yeah, okay. Ow! Jeez, they're bugs! Ow, dicks! Just die! Stupid bugs. Why is it always bugs? I hate bugs. I mean, not as bad as dogs. Dogs are the worst. Whew! There we go. Reload! Alright, how's my health? Oh, I'm still fine. Good, good. And there's more ammo up here. Cool. I guess I'm not going to take all the ammo, so I'm going for the fact that, you know, I can only carry a maximum amount. Oh, what do we have here? It's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Oh. Okie dokie. Some shotgun shells over there. Huh? This door looks ancient. What's with Umbrella and building everything inside of, uh, mansions? Oh, jeez, not the birds. Not the birds! Not the bees! There's a lot of herbs out here. Like, a lot. <laughs> I guess I should have grabbed those shotgun shells. That way I didn't have to come back up here with Billy. I mean, I have the space, right? I do. Alright, I'll go and grab the shotgun shells. If you guys insist, I'll go grab them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll blame you guys. Don't mind me. Just running. No need to be scared. I'm just, uh, walking through. There we go. That's why I can just grab the shotgun shells right away. Come on. There you go. Just good ammo. Alright. And I'll leave all the rest of the stuff up here for later. Just in case we ever need to come back and pick it up. I'm still sad, though, that I don't have an item box. Because I love shoving stuff into my item box. And then just having a massive variety. Oop, there we go. Alright. Um. The mechanical for winding the chain. Start the machine. No? The machine is finished winding the chain. The machine is finished winding the chain. What does winding the chain mean? What is this? Oh, they're just like giant tanks down there. Oh yeah, you gotta love this. Uh, the knight swords firmly bar access to the door. Well, that's just a dick move. Have you guys considered not being dicks? Alright, nothing over here. Okay. Ah, staircase. Oh, if only I could move faster. There we go. And on my map, um, yep, this leads down to the main access area. Or the main area. The door is now unlocked. Fantastic. Whoop, there we go. All right, Billy, uh, where you at? All right, let's go get Billy. He's just standing around. Okay. I mean, I don't know what that micro tape is for, but I don't care about it. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess he's just dead. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, nope. We're not there yet, guys. Oh, another door. What does that door need? Oh. I'm wondering. 
Blech. I'm wandering around like a drunk. I'm wondering which shotgun I should use. I mean, the spread shotgun just sounds more useful for groups. But if this gun's better for bosses... Oh, there you are. Come on. Roger. There we go. Now we can be friends again. Here. Uh, exchange. There you go. Perfect. All right. There we go, guys. We're back now with the two of us. And... Yo, I'm gonna do exactly what I suggested. I'm gonna leave my ink ribbon here. Uh, let's leave it over here. So that way I'm not actually carrying it around this entire game. Leave. Eh. No, oh, excuse me. There we go. Ink ribbon has been left. Just as long as I don't get my inventory filled up and then need to save. Alright, so, um, button. There we go. Alright. Uh-huh. Alright, let's go this way first. This is the only other section of this mansion that I've explored. Like, what you've seen so far is stuff I've already explored. This is, uh, the last bit of the explore. Uh, exploration that I've done. There you go. Man, Billy. It just seems weird that he just stands there now. So, like... But, like, at the same time, I don't really want him to use my shotgun ammo. Oh, there's so many good ammos. Um... I don't like just leaving them... Oh, nope. Not what I wanted. I don't like just leaving all that ammo behind, but, like, what else am I supposed to do? Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it behind, I guess. Uh, it's locked. The door's embossed with a fire motif. Oh, another fire door. Various cooking utensils line the back of the counter. That must be the kitchen. Why can't I just crawl through here? I'm, like, the size of a ten-year-old. Seriously. I can easily just crawl through there. Oh, hello. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Huh? The sink's pasta is rusty. Not a single drop of water comes up. Really? That's what you're concerned about? Not the dead dude that's right in front of it? And of course, just like with every other Resident Evil game, there's artwork everywhere because that's what you need at a training facility. Um. Alright. Okay. Uh, what's in this room? Oh! Back up, buddy. There's still someone whining. I hear someone whining. Hey, uh. Oh, your friends. See, for the basic part, you don't need a bigger weapon than just a pistol. Oh, it's a ladder. Climb up the ladder? No, oh, thank you. There's a black statue. Whoa! I like the way they said black. <laughs> Various materials lie stacked on the floor. Oh. Ah, and here's the other shotgun. So which gun do I want? Do I want the hunting rifle or do I want that shotgun? Oh, that is a hard choice. Mm. I think the other one also has like more stopping power. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, switch over. Alright, Billy boy. Time to leave behind the hunting rifle. There we go. Come on, and pick up the shotgun! Woo! There we go. And on top of that, it can hold more uh, ammo, too. There we go. Uh, do I want more Molotov cocktails? Yeah, sure, why not? If I find more bottles, that is. Alright, let's uh, switch 
switch, switch that button. <laughs> I'm always lost in these games. Um, where's my map? Um, okay, yeah, no. Yeah. I remember. Go up the ladder. There we go. Hey, Deadmans. Wow, there's a lot of you. Oh, shit. Woo! Man, that's a lot. And they never drop anything. Where'd this guy come from? I mean, he just dropped in. Oh, ooh, plants. Plants and... Nothing else. Just plants. No, thank you. Alright. Cool. Just a nice walkway. So that way we can get some nice fresh air. The door is now unlocked. Well, then go in the door. I mean, I don't just click on it just for SGs. Oh. Another door that the knights firmly close. And we are back in the conference room. And that is all that I've actually explored of this mansion. So next episode is going to be completely new stuff to me. So that way it's going to be fun like that. Anyways, we're out of time. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video so you guys know when I upload new episodes. And until next time, you have yourself a great evening.